Live from the news station, Fox 35 News at 10 starts now. Some new technology aimed at slowing the spread of COVID-19. This map here will tell you the risk of getting exposed to that virus based on the size of the group you would be around. Now you can tell if somebody has COVID that's near you because there's an app for that. Fox 35's Heather Gustafson joining us live tonight to explain. Hi, Heather. Hi, Luann. So it turns out this technology has been around since March. It's only just becoming popular now. Tools like these are actually really good to give people a bit of a reality check. This map, developed by researchers at Georgia Tech, updates automatically. It shows the risk level county by county of attending an event depending on its size and the location. The more people, the more likely you'll catch COVID. But even a group of only 25 in Orange County, Florida, has almost an 80% chance of catching the virus. The site right now is popular and it crashes often, so the developer, Dr. Joshua Weitz, a professor of biological sciences, is working with his team to expand the bandwidth. But another option is right on your cell phone. If you walk up to a, a bus stop, for example, and this is just a crazy example, but you walk up to a bus stop, your phone's on. Let's say a gentleman uh, close to that bus stop was tested positive. It pings my phone and lets me know that, hey, this person's tested positive. On Target Digital Marketing CEO Tom Jelnick explains this feature and how it works on both Android and Apple phones. On iPhones, you can find it under the Health tab in Privacy and then activate COVID-19 exposure logging. But some people don't feel comfortable with being tracked. The downside is people freak out about privacy concerns. I think the upside, though, um, is people having knowledge. And right now, only four states have compatible apps for this feature to be turned on, and Florida is not one of them. The real key here with all of this is being smart, being aware. And we spoke to the creator of that digital map earlier today that he said that he wants individuals to take the necessary precautions to stop the chains of transmissions before they start. So hopefully that map can help do that. Reporting live in Orange County, Heather Gustafson, Fox 35 News.